past the hour. The tree is pretty. The Hail Mary Texas lawsuit to overturn the election of Joe Biden got another wave of support yesterday. 106 House Republicans signed on to a filing with the Supreme Court to back the effort to invalidate votes cast in four battleground states, even though all 50 states have certified the election. Well, and the attorney generals in four states are rightly opposing those efforts, saying that it's unconstitutional, seditious. So anyway, but, you know, Gary Kasparov did say that the 100-plus Republicans that signed the document supporting sedition against the United States of America and the undermining of democratic norms, um, it, it, it's helpful to actually have their name on the record for mm -hmm. historians uh, to be able to identify who uh, were the Republicans who consider themselves to be in a sort of post-democracy phase. Yeah, those four battleground states filed their responses to the Supreme Court, along with a coalition of 23 mostly Democratic-led states and territories. Pennsylvania's Attorney General Josh Shapiro called the case, quote, a seditious abuse of the judicial process. Sedition's the right word, actually. Yeah. Joining us now, Attorney General for the District of Columbia, Carl Racine, thank you very much for uh, joining us this morning. Um, what do you make of here. the Republic? Thank you. What do you make of the Republicans who have signed this document? Well, I think Joe has a right, of course, that history will judge those Republicans harshly, uh, as they will the Republican Attorneys General, who joined Attorney General Paxson's brief. You know, my sincere hope is that at some point soon, those Republican AGs, even the ones in my room, will join the seven Republicans, and this is important, who did not go along with Texas. Attorney General Carr, Republican from Georgia. Attorney General Lawrence Wasden, Idaho. These are profiles of courage. We see some of that in the Senate all too little, with Senator Sass every now and again, and of course Mitt Romney. But those are the people who are gonna help us get through this political quagmire uh, and incourageous time that we find ourselves in. Good morning, Mr. Attorney General. It's Willie Geis. What a time we're living in when it has to be described as an act of courage, a profile in courage to state the obvious that this is a quack lawsuit that's undermining an American presidential election. What do you make of those attorney generals, the attorneys general who have signed on to this? People probably some of whom you know um, obviously, they went to law school, they're respected attorneys, they're elevated to become attorney general in their state. Why are they joining this lawsuit? Let me be really clear, Willie. It's not a one-size-fits-all in the judgment of uh, my 17 colleagues and Attorney General Paxson. Look, some are, frankly, scared. Relentless, coercive pressure by Donald Trump, and obviously, their own constituents are weighing in with the president. Others may actually believe wrongly and somehow uh, legally that they have an argument. Of course they don't. And you needn't look any further, of course, than uh, Ben Ginsburg, the uh, prolific Republican election lawyer who comes on TV and tells you every day, honestly, there's never been systematic voter fraud in the United States of America. So again, I hope my colleagues find their way uh, to the truth. The last piece of this is campaign finance reform. We've got some people in the AG room, just like we do in Congress, who are motivated by their donors to do what their donors want. And that's simply the truth. Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Attorney General, uh, Casey Hunt has a question for you, but Casey, uh, this just uh, coming across uh, the wire that uh, Q poll uh, out uh, says the majority of Americans believe the election was fair, but 77% of Republicans believe uh, that there was widespread uh, voter fraud. Um, <laughs> just seriously, I mean, it's just, uh, it's basically means 77% of Republicans are disconnected from reality and actually. Uh, live in an alternative reality, uh, but that is what it is. 
Well, and Joe, yes, this um, is, it, you know, why it, it, it helps explain uh, exactly why all of those Republicans signed on uh, to this lawsuit, because they are afraid or worried about those very voters that President Trump has this hold over and who are seeing all this happen and and legitimately believing that or, or sorry, believing that there are legitimate claims uh, of voter fraud when, in fact, we have not seen uh, evidence of them. And uh, I mean, Mr. Attorney General, that there is no evidence of voter fraud. Uh, this is the Southern strategy on steroids. Uh, brings me to my question for you. What's, in your view, the motivation uh, for this lawsuit? Because I mean, Ben Sass suggested, well, it's because Ken Paxton wants a pardon from Donald Trump, and that's why uh, all of these uh, state attorneys uh, general have been have been willing to uh, jump on board. But I know you you talk to them privately. You you all generally have relationships, even if if it's across the aisle. I mean, what are you hearing from people not Ken Paxton about why they're willing to put their names on something like this? Well, I think the polls say it. Uh, folks are concerned about booking a president, and as you've correctly noted, Donald Trump has a death grip on the Republican Party. A death grips don't end well. Uh, the Republican Party obviously is going to not be the same, and that's going to be a good thing. Let me give you, though, a good story, and that is this. The federal courts, state courts, and I believe the United States Supreme Court has stood up to this president. My colleagues in the Democratic AG room have brought suit against the president about 139 times. We've won 80% of those suits. Willie, that's a better winning percentage than the Yankees. Even better, Joe, <laughs> Mother Red Sox. Wow. Oh, Thank my God. God. Yeah, much. It's Thank God well. for the judiciary, the judicial branch, not elected. They don't take political contributions. As a Democrat, they don't decide every issue the way I like it. I like reasonable gun control. I'm for reproductive rights. I abhor the, the money in campaigns. But this United States Supreme Court will do the American democracy experiment right. And they are going to reject this frivolous, erroneous lawsuit. Bank on it. Mm -hmm. And that's the greatness of America, our system, right? Legislative, executive, and judicial. And judiciary is so important. For the District of Columbia, Carl, Carl Racine, mincing no words this morning. Thank you very much. And he was really active.